Freehold, la freehold land that are not in use at agriculture land. I think, Chair, what we should be asking ourselves how do we help our people? Because already, already the evaluation rule has become a law, it was passed in this house in 2018, and it is supposed to be implemented. Where the boundaries have reached of the urban areas, those are the places we should be charging. So, I wanted to know from the CC are the, are the boundaries for the municipalities set out. Well, those are the places we should be charging, uh, we should be charging uh, and probably implementing with the new... As the counties, we need to abide by that. But if, for example, the county has no law, then it will have to abide with the national law. So if we look, for example, at the rateable owner, the, the definition that is given under the evaluation of rating, CAP 266, that is what actually has been pasted to, to our document. But unfortunately, CAP 266 being the mother, we cannot change that. What I'd advise as a legal person is when we go to exemptions in our act, that is at, uh, section 17, we have uh, properties that we've exempted. Mm -hmm. So for example, under that, we might think on how to exempt the agricultural parcels and all that kind of thing. Yeah. So that our... What I would uh, want to appeal is that we will have that data that you have requested us, uh, to have, we'll have it ready by Thursday. We would want to know from chair how far do you want us to go in terms of how much, you know, how far back you want us to that we come with that information together. The other thing is that we had responded to each and every, we had responded to each and every question that has been raised on in this petition. We have circulated our response, so please have a look at it. All the information that we had asked on this petition, we actually have it and we have responded to it. The only thing that we cannot have is the information of the data and we will come with that data. Uh, and we will come with a full team uh, to discuss issues that have been raised by Moshinua, uh, Ruth, on the uh, issues of urbanization and alienation. Ndependi, sababu unapata mtu alipewa samba na baba yake, na unapata, for example, kama kawasukari penye natoka, walikuwa nalipa 2,000 na saa hii nafaa, walipe, wa, wa, wanaambiwa walipe 15,000. So, mimi naona watu wa kiambu wa watulie, na sisi kama ma MCS, tumeamua, Kimimi kama MCA wa kawasukari tunataka hiyo act yondolewe. Ndiyo kila mtu wa kwe free na kukaa kwake na enjoy kukaa kwa buma yake na samba yake. Hakuna aji ufos wanainchi punda imechoka na musigo na njaa na kila kitu. Na samba ilikuwa yao ya babu, baba yao na babu sao. So sisi kama ya MCS wa kiambu governor alisema visuri amewacha hiyo kitu kwa mkononi yetu. Na sasa tunamwambia MCS. We are going to work and to have a win-win situation for the people of Kiabum, where they have a great cry for the freehold land rating. And we have, we have, we have, we have several meetings. We, have another, we, have, we had them, another meeting with the, the whole house at Mombasa, they debating the same issue. And today was our second meeting with Waziri. And we have agreed we didn't get the conclusive information and we have agreed Wasiri has to come to this house uh, that is on next week Monday to give more insight about the, the petition. Our plan is that on 4th, uh, on 4th, uh, on 4th we'll be having Waziri and later in the afternoon we are looking how we are going to invite the real estate on that day so that uh, even them they can give us their in insight. Also we are looking on 18, how on 18 March we can invite the Buga Masinani and all the petitioners, so we listen to them.